I just hope for the best. And I'm just here to say this is best of five, guys. We're in winners finals. Evo rules today. I think it's only top three best of five, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Top, top four, four best of five. Okay. Oh, we're, we're, we're letting them play. We're, a we're eating. We're eating good. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Dawn just went right through uh, Beast right there, but already a very, very hot start from the blue team. Still, again, this is where it gets started. It's just that once Fox or Mario hits you one time, they can just keep that combo going. I feel like, again, it's on the blue team to really combo break, to really disrupt those combos. Oh, and Beast trying to go for an early one right there. And I did see him do try it earlier, and it didn't prevail. You know, Beast is a Zard specialist as well, so he's going to be opting for this Charizard more often than not. He just knows how to move with this character, unlike any other. You saw there the forward throw into F Smash attempt right there by Dawn and Light. Not going to pan out, but Tilde is going to be the first one ending up dropping their stock. Yeah, and Fox and Falco, pretty light characters in comparison to, like, the other two on board. So you can see Light and Tilde just losing their stocks faster than their other two partners. All right, though, Dawn's still clinging on. But again, one thing that we've, you know, lauded, uh, or not lamented or lauded, but one, one thing we praise Light for a lot is how good of a disruptor he is, both in Smash 4 and in this game. He just knows how to run in there with that up smash, break the tension, and really just capitalize on the kill when someone's sleeping, because Fox just has such good ground speed. Yeah, and I'm doing that to, like, his insane reaction. For real. His Kay. reaction time is un unparalleled, I feel like, in this game. he I, I feel like it's one of the main reasons he can keep pushing Fox to such crazy heights. Oh my god. Everybody's just putting out outfits. <laughs> Everyone's getting juggled. Squirtle. <laughs> All right, though. Actually, really, really smart positioning from Beast right there under that platform. You saw Tilde was holding that rapid jab. Light was moving in for the disruption, but yeah. Beast saving them to not disrupt it. Yeah, and we saw him like he had Light in the corner and he ran back to help his teammate. But once he saw him. Oh my it, god. Yeah, oh. He, he risked it for the biscuit, man. And Beast does do these plays. It, when they work out, able to take stocks really early, but when they don't, you see the reversal right there. Sure, very, very good punish heavy player, but again, you know, it is Zard at the end of the day. If you're getting caught out by both Fox and Mario, you're either hurting for a lot of damage or you're just dying. Oh, almost caught them right there. Kind of a weird spot right there for Light to be. I get Light tried to break up the tension right there, but Fox's hitboxes horizontally are just kind of small. So yeah. you're not really going to be able to combo break uh, pretty effectively. You kind of just have to wait for the finish and then go in, I feel yeah. like. We saw um, Tilde early on have this problem in the previous sets, but then he's, Tilde started doing more fairs and nares. And Fox doesn't really have that, except outside of fair. And All right, Light finally finding that bear he was looking for. And though the stock lead was up, you know, the damage was pretty ripe on both the blue team members right here. Now Tilde being stuck in a 1v1. Has to take Light off, I feel like, a little bit quicker. Yeah, and playing a lot more defensive. Mm -hmm. Moral, Moral's gone, man. Just saying. If there's one thing Tilde can do well, like, despite, you know, how, how his reputation is, I hate players who camp and stuff like that, Tilde plays on the defense very, very well. Yeah, and that's because Falco isn't that fast of a character and harder to be aggro with. So True. They can just run in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right and now this. Oh! Okay, I like the fact that Tilde did the air dodge upwards there. If he just did it neutral or outward, Don could have connected a fair there, but the fact that he did it up and Don had no more double jumps left, yeah. you know, the only thing he could have really finished with there is an up B, which wouldn't really make sense in that situation. Yeah. Tilde cleaning it up. That's that Tilde advantage, baby. It definitely is. Give him an inch, he takes a mile. This is how it goes. Uh, kilometer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he takes a kilometer. <laughs> He's European. <laughs> the adjustments, I, like, I feel like Dawn and Light had the recipe, but they were just letting Tilde smack them up too yeah. much. I feel like... And they're both at high percent, so they couldn't make any mistakes there. Yeah. And you see how the uh, situation reversal is like... He only like did two real punishes, essentially, and they both were stuck at this. Yeah. And again, we've seen Tilde use that up smash as such a powerful option to not only scoop up, but also anti-air people yeah, quite they, a lot. Like, and I agree. I, f I feel like they can't, you know, I feel like Light and Don shouldn't be dropping that. Yeah, that up smash is a quarantine buff. Yeah. Like, if you're watching, buff, yeah. <laughs> if you're watching, like, pre-pandemic to now, it's like, why is this up smash hitting? <laughs> Already, blue team getting taken so much damage, all because Beast initiated with withdraw, which is like one of the weirdest moves I feel like to go in first with, because I feel like it's not going to net 
too big of an opening for yeah. Tilde and it, Beast if it, if it hits. If you're not suspecting it, it can catch someone off guard. Yeah. And I think that's what he was hoping for, but unfortunately it just didn't pan out. You can't combo off it, though. Like, once Squirtle hits you, he's done. All right, yeah. though, Don trying to catch the landing right there. This is all Beast right here. Really and, smart recovery from Don, though, to go high here. Yeah, and Light just calling out until they able to take that stock right now. And just fly. And I feel like that's, like, the 800th time Don has gotten caught trying to do an up air below the opponent while they're shielding on a platform. Both both Charizard and Falco have up smashes out of shield. So if you're caught doing an unsafe aerial and drifting way too much in, you can just get scooped up for it. And I feel like Don has to just wait for them to land or something like yeah. that. You know, pa patience in doubles, while you don't need to have a lot of it, you still need to have enough of it to, you know, open up. Because that's how you and your teammate both get their opening. Yeah, no, it definitely is. You're not just worrying about yourself at that point. Alright, that was the weirdest sour spot up smash I've ever seen in my entire I life. I didn't even <laughs> think that existed. I don't think it connected. I don't even know what happened there. No, land. it connected, because I saw the percent for all of them, but... Light just being the pivotal star of this game so far, just pretty much avoiding all danger coming at him. I love that link by Tilde, though. Still not going to work. I don't yeah. know about that up B from Dawn. I get that he just wanted a combo break and prevent yeah. Light from dying, but he ended up getting himself killed for it. Yeah, Beast was just there, striking. He's sink. dead. Not just yet. Wow! What a save, but Dawn not hitting the tech right there. There's only so much Light can do. Yeah, and now Green Team just one stock of Beast. I, I love 10 second stocks. You, you see it? Yeah. That's like the biggest boost of morale for any player. And now Beast and Tilde, you know, riding the momentum they had in game one. Looking very, very, it's, it's really, I feel like Dawn has just been not as safe as he could be. I feel like that's the weak link that Blue Team has oh. been pressing on. And again, like Mario dying at 52 off the bottom of the stage, like, you don't really see that happen. I feel, Dare is a really good thing to stop Mario, though. Yeah, and this is not looking good. Yeah, it's tough. Oh my god! They learned that? They know that? How many times have they teamed? I don't know. Probably enough. Uh, third time, to my knowledge. I feel like in the 1v2, Falco is the perfect character to initiate there, too, because all of his, most of his moves to set up are multi-hits. You know, so you have more than enough time to react there. Still, really, really good timing from Beast to get that dare off right there. I feel like Light has been trying to disrupt the pressure from both Charizard and Falco that entire time, because Dawn has kind of just been getting laid waste to. He's been doing a lot of unsafe options. He's been getting opened up, and then as soon as he gets hit, Light has to run back in and kind of save him. And with with Fox's hitboxes, you if you if they're not at up smash kill percent, it's yeah. not really going to do a lot more than netting you a little bit of stage control. No, certainly. And now we're, we're still running back here, and they need to try to get like their essence from game one. I know they lost it, but they had control for the most part, and. Green team does seem to be like slipping away. They were up, yeah. They're they're up. They're up good. If they, the opposite of down bad is up good, and they were definitely yeah. up good. Still though, <laughs> okay. A little bit like Light is always known to be a very creative player. So up up be right there. Well, not you know the safest thing to do. He was able to get out of pressure really nice there. And again, when Dawn is in the driver's seat when he's been sharking landings, he's looking immaculate. But when he's in disadvantage, I feel like he hasn't really been managing it too well. Yeah, and they're just taking advantage. No recovery, of yeah. Another time. Used, yeah. He's just been frame trapping himself by committing to really high options. I feel like as Mario, you can afford to go super low and just yeah. up B. And you're fine. Dawn has been trying to recover high every time to circumvent the ledge game, not get ledge trapped by Beast. But Beast Beast knows this area. He knows how to take up all this airspace with Charizard. He does have like a little Mario himself. Mm -hmm. It's true. And even the positioning, you can see how uncomfortable Dawn and Light are looking right now with trying to find their footing. They were converting off of each other so well before, but right now, Tilde and Beast's positioning just seems unmatched. Yeah, oh, but as you say that, they're, they're both in the corner. <laughs> Still, though, waiting, waiting to fight their way out. I also love all these ledge mix-ups with both uh, the tether cancel right there, and as far as Tilde kind of ledge planking a little bit as well. It's been really saving their bacon in terms of conserving these stocks. Yeah, but they're both get it. Both sets got killed for it. Okay, I'll smash out of shield. Like, look at how well Beast is just holding space right here. Like, Light kind of had no option but to fall into the up smash right there. I feel like both Light and Dawn are playing, you know, a little bit of a goose chase right now. Yeah. And is he's he dead. dead? Don yep. is dead again. Yeah, tries to up B really, really yeah. early. It, it feels like Don's trying to compensate for something. Yeah. Right. What do you mean by that? <laughs> you know what, what I mean. What did you mean by that? You know what I mean. <laughs> but no, it's like, 
It's like he's losing a lot of neutral interactions, so he's trying to go for like the heavy blow. Yeah. Or like uh, something un un peculiar, and he's just getting blown up for it's it. It's like the equivalent of like ego peaking in, in Smash. Like you you are trying to compensate. By, I, I see what you mean. You're trying to make up more than enough ground because you're like, oh man, I've been playing, but I'm letting my teammate down. I yeah. have to go for these big plays to try and equalize this game. Yeah. When really that's just been opening Dawn up to getting completely smothered off stage by Beast every single time. If anything, Dawn should just try to like win. He can play second beat, I yeah, feel like. Because the most valuable thing in doubles is holding the stops at the end of the day. You don't lose if you lose if you can't die. Like I feel like a lot of the time Don has been the aggressor. This is huge, huge for him. Will this kill off the top? No, not quite yet. Charizard big body, but it allows Dawn and Light enough breathing room to potentially take this game. It's really about all who just makes the next big mistake. And Light getting that jab lock there. Excellent work right there. This you see how we were talking about this entire time? We were mm -hmm. unaware to the to the Vantage green team god. Because I, I, in my mind, I was still thinking blue team. Oh, he's dead, yeah. yeah that's, that's game right there. But in my mind, I was still thinking blue team like had the lead. It was just because they, I mean, those, those stocks dropped off like pretty quickly. Like light was like, you know, it separated into the point where it became two separate 1v1s. Dawn finally found his stride with these chain up airs on Beast, not allowing Beast to really assist till day. And we have light. You know, light is one of the best advantage pushers in ultimate right now, period. This man just got second at Summit. I think he made top eight at the collision. I don't know why I wasn't there. But he, he, was out there. he, he was has out been there. pushing his advantage really well. My man is pushing P. Pretty sure. He, oh, stop this. He's pushing P. Stop this. <laughs> he got, I think he got fifth. And, and being able to play a character like Fox and Doubles where one slight error can lead to you getting just boomstick. Like, that's impressive. And the fact to have the awareness to jab lock in Doubles too, you know? That, that's why Light's reaction time is unparalleled. That's why he's, you know, that's why he's up there as one of the greats. Okay, jump, jump caught. But a high side B from Light to get back to center stage. And Tilde's just comboing the mess out of him. Tilde literally said, give me Light. <laughs> Bring me the one called Light. <laughs> Trying to rip the Light right out of him right now. Tilde's only on 7% right now. Finally getting juggled by Dom a little bit there. But look at how worse for wear. I think that's a dead fox, yeah? Yeah, that is. Getting body blocked from magneting, I believe, right there a little that bit. That is not Daijobu. <laughs> that is not Daijobu at all. But again, look at how ready both Beast and Tilde were to convert right there. This is a massive lead to start off with. We already know that Beast knows how to keep that longevity with his stocks as well. And Tilde not doing too bad for himself in keeping this stock as well. All right, back there. Not going to connect right there. But they're now starting to apply more pressure to Tilde, trying to find an opening right here. All right, big back air coming out right there. I like that light finally disrupting the pressure on Dawn right there. Saving him because, as we've seen, Dawn has been dying at some really early percents. So the fact that Light is able to at least make up the ground before the battle goes off stage is really, really beneficial. That's going to keep them in this game. Yeah, and it's like he stepped it up. It's like, yo, you can't just focus on Dawn only. <laughs> I'm, I'm a factor here too. The Squirtle's getting whacked, bro. Oh no! Nah. Had to evolve. Had to grow up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> He's a war tortoise. Turn a boy now. into a man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, though, looking not bad, honestly, for Green Team at this point. They made a lot back. Dawn with that perfect X smash. Beast now on his last stock. Tilde still holding on, but by a thread at 149 right here. It, and if, if Dawn, if oh. Dawn and Light can keep playing with each other, can keep comboing off of each other very efficiently, this is going to be a really good comeback for them. Because they've, yeah. they've been, they were down pretty bad. Yeah, no, they're finding their stride. Okay, that's going to be stock right there. Oh, this is huge. Tilde still had a fresh two stocks right here as well. Yeah, and that's going to be the biggest part. It's like... Oh, oh, no way! He tried to go for it, but using the armor from Fly to polish it off right there. You know, I, I, the fat lady ain't singing just yet, but I feel like Dawn... I don't know if Dawn can make this 2v1 comeback. I mean, look at oh, the wobbling! Wobble, wobble, look at the wobble! Wobble, wobble! Oh, my God, bro. And that's... That's it. Ugh, disgusting. That was yeah. disgusting. Oh my god, that perfect, like, knowing the, the play for the 1v2 right there as well. Light getting, I don't know how Light died. I wish we could see a replay of that. That was, I, I get that he got flown or, or, or hit with Fly really high up. Yeah. I just didn't get it though. Really good. You saw how much damage they got off of that right there. As soon as the goalpost flew right past Tilde, he was able to get a conversion right off of that. Right. I think we're about to see how Light that died right here. He was at what? Zero? Zero? No shot. Yes. Yeah, used the armor with Fly, carried him off the top at zero, bro. That's some Smash 4 stuff right That's there. That's some Smash 4 stuff. But, yeah. A little, little, little bit of Gouda, little bit of push, little, little, little bit of Pepper Jack on there. A little, a little bit. A little bit of, a little bit of cheddar mm -hmm. coming out right there. But 
Tilde and Light getting, or Tilde and uh, Beast getting one step closer to making some cheddar themselves here at CT GamerCon. I think there's a pop bonus for this tournament as well. That I was, think so. I mean, you know, Tilde, one of the fastest, you know, one of the most.